So today is an interesting day altogether. There are books which are coming into my mind, into my life, which I did not expect to actually follow through with. Number one, Compound Interest by Darren Hardy. Today, I will not lie to you, training was a task. For the first time in a long time, I was like, oh my word, I have to go to training. I have to go there. I have to go to judo. I have to, I really have to put in the work today. And it was one of those days where the body was like, yeah, we're pretty fine. We could go. But the mind was like, dude, come on, man. Why? Hey, why are we going, bro? Do we really have to go? And after a while, I was like, okay, cool. You have a choice now. See, you're going to sit in this chair here and not go. And you're going to wake up and be like, flip, I should have gone. I really should have put myself at the forefront of work and tribulations. And I decided to go. And I'm coming back and I'm on the tram. Full story about trams, man. I don't know, bro. It's something about reading these books and seeing so much abundance that you humble yourself and be like, you know, a tram, for what it's worth, is an amazing piece of technology. But I, I want to be going to judo in a Ferrari or something very extravagant, comfortable. And I feel like that's okay to think, you know. It's something that's within me that understands the parameters at, at which I place myself. I have to be able to say that, you know, same likewise with yourself. You know, if there's a problem in your mind and you see, okay, there's something greater here. There always is, you know. First of all, maybe you're in a tram, you want to use a car, you start using a car. The car is cool, you want to chauffeur, you want more time to do work on your way to training. Oh, now the car is too slow, you need a helicopter. Helicopter, the levels, <laughs> they go higher and higher. And today I saw a lot of different books. One of the best books that I've seen is Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone is what I'm reading now. Absolutely amazing book. Solidifies itself on the basis of being a person who is committed to the sell, right? Whatever, whatever you are doing, if you're professional or something, commit yourself to the profession and embody that so that everything else within your mind flows in which... In a, in a manner which other people can see, and it's not false. You know, there's a lot of different things you can say, oh, I do this, I do this, I do this. But we'll be like, oh, really? You do that? But you're not confident in it. You don't really embody it. So a lot of the things you want to do in life have to really come with the mindset of understanding if you are going to be someone or something of note, become that person now. How does a person walk, talk, eat, dress, how does he make deals? How does he make his money? How does she make her money? Whatever it is. Oh wow, flashing lights. Anyways, today was a harder day. Today I had to push the parameters of my mind. It was a bit of a struggle and I'm very humble and very grateful to have experienced it because you know, you don't just have moments like that. You have peachy moments be like, yeah, I can be the best. I can do this. But today I was met with a bigger decision. With your bigger decisions, Know that there is a better thing in your mind, better thing in your life which you can tackle and a better perspective which you can take all the time. Take the high road. It's not easy. I'm not speaking from a rosy field where I'm like everything is good. Today I was met with something that was not good and you have to just be ready at all times. Keep on working hard. Keep on chasing your dreams. And I also say, oh, glory to God, Lego. Oh, I did it wrong. Duck, weave, up, down. Boom. Yeah. That's a good one. Fanta light, bruv. <laughs> there we go.